friends, this is Miss Becca, and today I'm going to read you a book. And the title of this book is, It's a Good Thing There Are Insects. The author of this book is Alan Fowler, and the photos are supplied by Alan Photos and Jeffrey L. Rotman. It's a good thing there are insects. Sometimes we call them bugs, but their real name is insects. All insects have six legs, like a grasshopper. Most insects, like flies, have wings. Some insects live in trees, like cicadas. And some live in water, like water beetles. Some insects, including ants, make their home in the ground. They have their own little town where each ant does its own kind of work. A caterpillar forms a shell called a chrysalis around itself. In the chrysalis, the caterpillar changes into a butterfly. This home for bees is called a hive. Some insects are harmful to people. Mosquitoes can bite you. Wasps can sting you. Locusts can eat a farmer's crops. But insects are helpful to us in many ways. We get silk from the cocoon of a silkworm. We get honey from bees. As bees fly from flower to flower, they carry pollen to help the flowers grow. Some insects are pretty, like this monarch butterfly. Insects serve as food, too. Many animals and birds and fish and reptiles live by eating insects. But they leave the walking stick alone. They think it's a twig. Some insects glow in the dark, like a firefly or a lightning bug. Some insects make sounds like a cricket. So the next time you see a beetle or a ladybug, remember, it's a good thing there are insects. Thank you so much. I hope you learned a little bit about insects. Have a great day. Bye.